all the years that I've been living on the West Coast, I would have had an idea of what I was living on and how it got there. From when I started, from when I was born to now, that view has changed dramatically, okay? So every, I want to say every couple of years, I learn something about the area I'm living in and about the West Coast of Ireland that kind of flips things for me, that changes things, and I tend to view it through different eyes again. So my hope would be with a tour, when you come out on a tour with me, that you leave with a different perspective. And the burn would have been laid down 320 to 360 million years ago in a tropical sea. We see that in the limestone layers. A lot of the erosion that you see on the face here was caused in the Ice Age, but the actual stone itself is about 350 million years old. The cliffs, the rock that makes up the cliffs, would have been deposited on top of these limestone layers by a, a large river system 318 million years ago. So we're slowly creeping closer to, to modern day. Then the wear or the bashing that the Atlantic gives the rock that makes up the cliffs is what makes them cliffs. Otherwise, they're just a big mound of sedimentary material. But that spectacular kind of geographical formation of the cliffs, it's more recent. Once you establish how the rock got here, how the cliffs were formed, that then leads up to the animals that you see when you're up there and the flowers and plants. Okay, so the cliff faces are home to lots of seabirds because of the rock shelving there. So we have thousands and thousands of seabirds that nest there every year. The species of flowers that we get here are often because of the limestone. So the starting back and going at the, well, the real base level of the rock and moving your way through to the animals and wildlife, you get a better feel for why the things are here, how they're here and why they're here.